nobody should expect a masterpiece when two 1 7 teams face off against each other, and the game between the Miami Dolphins and Houston Texans certainly lived down to its billing. But at least the Dolphins found a way to end their season crushing seven game losing streak, pulling out a 17 9 victory at Hard Rock Stadium. Jacoby Brissett started at quarterback for the Dolphins after Tua Tungavailoa was ruled out because of his finger injury, though Tungavailoa served as the backup. Tungavailoa wanted to play against Houston, according to Fox Sports, and ESPN's Adam Schefter reported Sunday morning he was dealing with a small fracture on the middle finger of his throwing hand. Brissett threw a touchdown pass to Mac Hollins late in the first half, but threw two interceptions and lost a fumble when he was sacked in the fourth quarter. Miles Gaskin scored the Dolphins' first touchdown on a six-yard run after taking a direct snap in the Wildcat formation. The Dolphins' defense limited Houston to three field goals and made life miserable for quarterback Tyrod Taylor his return to the lineup after missing seven-plus games with a hamstring injury. Taylor came in with a great career resume against the Dolphins, 4-2 record as a starter, 10 touchdowns, zero interceptions, 113.8 passer rating but was rattled by the Dolphins' constant blitzing. The game featured nin turnovers, four by the Texans, five by the Dolphins, drop passes, some timely penalties, some shoddy blocking by both offensive lines. The Dolphins' defense did come up with a lot of big plays, including three interceptions and five sacks. It was the fumble recovery, by Brandon Jones after a catch by Jordan Aikens with 2.26 left on a play overturned after the Dolphins challenged the ruling that pretty much sealed the victory for Miami. Rookie Javon Holland got his first career pick and was joined by Jerome Baker and Justin Coleman. Emmanuel Ogba led the pass rush again and had 2.5 sacks, with Nick Needham and Andrew Van Ginkle getting one each, and rookie Jalen Phillips sharing one with Ogba. One of Ogba's sacks came when Taylor clicked feet with running back Rex Burkhead and Taylor went down on his own before Ogba touched him down. Maybe the best example of the kind of game it was came late in the first half after the Dolphins kicked a field goal to go up 10-6. After he was forced out of the pocket, Taylor scrammed toward the sideline and decided to flip the ball forward before going out of bounds to avoid the yardage loss. The only problem was that he didn't flip the ball out of bounds, and linebacker Jerome Baker was able to do a toe dance along the sideline to make the interception. It set up Brissett's touchdown pass to Hollins that gave the Dolphins a 17-6 halftime lead. The only scoring of the second half came on the third field goal by Houston kicker Kaimi Fairburn after Houston had a first and goal from the Dolphins' five-yard line. With Devontae Parker on injured reserve, Jalen Waddell became the focal point of the passing game and finished with eight catches for 85 yards. Tight end Mike Jasicki had four catches, including one of his patented one-handed snags. But this wasn't a game with a lot of highlights. At the very least, though, it produced a long-awaited victory for the Dolphins.